It's important to know the difference between a truly resistant weed and a tough to control weed. At one time, a resistant weed was very easy to control, uh, but as you use a herbicide over and over, you're selecting for a biotype of that weed that's more tolerant or resistant to your herbicide. A weed that's prone to resistance, you can manage that by uh, combining with other sites of action, different types of herbicides. You can manage the potential of that resistance to develop. Uh, with a tough to control weed, it's more of a strategy just finding a product that works and what's most effective and, and focusing on that with that product on that weed. When we talk about weed resistance in, in the West in general, we almost have to talk about kochia. Kochia in the Central High Plains is very widespread. Um, it does very well under very dry, arid conditions, which we have a lot of the Central High Plains. Kochia is a summer annual. It tends to germinate very early in the spring. Many leaflets, very small, as the snow's receding. There's a couple different scenarios on how you would approach kochia control across the high plains. A lot of high plains uh, cereal production is done in a, a wheat fallow system. So one year you, you set aside the ground to store moisture. Uh, you typically will use chemical fallow. Some people still use tillage. And then the next year you plant your grain crop and you use that moisture that you've stored and, and produce a good crop. In that scenario, we can target kochia in the fallow situation with several bare products. We have a fallow product um, called Scoparia, where we can apply it early in the spring, prior to kochia germination, just as the snow's receding, March, April. It gives us several weeks of residual, and then growers can come in with some post-emergence fallow control of the kochia. Then when you get in crop, in wheat, we have a great tool, Husky and Husky Complete. Husky does a very good job on kochia. Uh, it already has two sites of action. It's an HPBD inhibitor, and then we also have a PS2 inhibitor. We combine that with a growth regulator like fluoroxapyr. We have three effective modes of action that are very effective on that kochia plant. Another thing growers can do to help manage resistance is really focus on early season control. Um, if you can go pre-plant, pre-emergent, you eliminate half the population of what you're dealing with by going with a pre-plant or pre-emergent application. Um, then you can focus on your post-emergence control, but you're dealing with a lot fewer weeds later in the season than you would be if you had no pre up front. 